my good Chris Connor back on Sports Center. More than just ball snapping for Nick Sunberg on Sunday. His arm also uh, hurt a little bit of a snap. The skin's long snapper broke his left arm in the first half, but get this, Chris. My man stayed in the game, snapping the ball eight more times, four on punts, the others on field goals and extra points. Guess what? The tough guy, Nick Sunberg, joins us right here on the phone on Sports Center right now. Let's jump right into it, Nick. How did you break your arm? Uh, thanks for having me on first off. Um, it kind of got squeezed in between uh, helmet and a face mask and uh, I guess the momentum of uh, uh, helmet hitting my arm going into reach out his face mask broke it. Oh, I'm sweating just thinking about that. Now the trainers wanted you to get x-rays on the sidelines, but you refused. Why, why is that? Um, well, I knew it was broken. I <laughs> knew right away. I thought the x-rays were kind of pointless. Um, uh, you know, I just... I wanted something for the pain and, uh, and to, to stick with it. Um, you know, it was just kind of one of those things where I already knew it was broken, you know, what's the point of confirming it? So you're hurt, you, you want to stay in it. What motivated you to want to stay in that football game? Uh, I think my teammates, you know, we've all, we've all worked so hard to, to get to this point in the season. And, you know, for me to bail out on them for, for something like that, just because of a little pain was, uh, was unacceptable to me. All right, so you had a conversation with RG3, uh, Rob Griffin III, in the third fourth uh, about your broken arm. What did you tell him? Uh, um, <laughs> kind of funny. I grabbed him, and I was just like, hey, Robert, you know, you're doing a great job, but can you do me a favor? He's like, yeah, anything you want. I was like, all right, I don't want to punt again. He's like, kind of laughed. And I'm like, no, really, I don't want to punt again. He's like, well, what do you mean? And dude, my arm hurts so bad when I go out there for punt, I don't want to do it again. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm like, hey, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, but I don't want to fight again. So he, we just kind of laughed about it, and then he went back out there. So. All right, but you guys still scored 40 points, and you're getting down the field. So if you score touchdowns, even line up uh, and drive down the field for field goals, you still got to snap the ball for the extra points in the field goals. Does it hurt worse when you uh, line up for a punt and you snap for a punt than it does for an extra point or a field goal? Yeah, it did, just because I have to put on my arm so much harder through my leg. So it's like the, the, I guess the velocity of my, of my hands coming through a little more uh, pressure on that bone, and then coming up and having to block and do things on the run uh, wasn't very fun. So this has to make you uh, one of the most popular guys in the locker room. What are your teammates saying about your decision to stay and play through that plane? Uh, just that they were kind of surprised, uh, proud of me, you know, impressed, kind of those things, you know. A couple guys uh, just said that, you know, I'll never make money again. You know, a lot of times it's wrapped by everybody. You know, just said uh, I earned quite a bit of respect by, by not giving up on him. Let's talk about that. Last night's Raiders game, Oakland's lost staff for John Condo. He gets hurt, has to leave, and his team had to suffer last night because uh, they weren't able to get a snap off, as you see right there in the video. With your heroics and his absence from last night's game, what do you think you've shown to believe about your position as being a long staff? Well, I hope people realize the importance of it. I mean, we get, we get back on all the time for, oh, you know, it's just uh you know, why doesn't the center just do it, save our officer spot, things like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> it, it, it's important. I mean, it, it can cost you a game, it can win you a game. And, you know, so uh, it's unfortunate uh, what happened to Sean last night. And I hope he's all right. Um, and I hope he's able to bounce back soon. What I don't think people understand about you is that you're already a, a tough guy. I don't even know if you feel pain, to be quite honest with you, because <laughs> I understand your mom used to sell tasers, and you would actually tase yourself, and sometimes some of her co-workers would tase you as a kid? Well, uh, it was uh, bring your kid to work today when I was nine. She worked at Taser International, and uh, her couple of co-workers were giving me crap, asking me if I was going to take a hit from the taser, and, you know, I just told them my mom won't let me. She kind of peeked her head over her cubicle and was like, oh, no, you can do every work. <laughs> <laughs> really just threw me right under that bus there, so then I really didn't have a choice, and, uh, Every time they came out with a new one, I would try it. And any time they needed a test on me, I was uh, first to raise my hand. Man, I'm glad my mom worked at a department store. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tough guy, man. So, uh, Nick Sunberg, man, congratulations on the win. Uh, Rob Griffin, third, had an outstanding game. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Sports Center today. Guys, thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, these players know all too well about playing in pain. Uh, let's go back to 1970.